let us derive the relationship between load shear force s and bending moment m for this let us consider a simply supported beam let us say this is the beam and it is subjected to udl over its entire span w kilo newton per meter this is small w and this is end a and this is end b and since it is simply supported so it will be subjected to two reactions va and vb so this is the beam and we will assume that the weight of beam is either negligible weight is very small which can be negligible or you can say w intensity is inclusive of the self weight of the beam inclusive of the self weight of the beam okay now let us consider a section of the beam at a distance x from end a so i will take this small portion of the beam and i will take it out and draw its bigger diagram here so i can take it out this very small portion of the beam whose length is dx and it is subjected to udl w kilo newton per meter you can say that the total load will be w into dx because its length is dx now i will mark my positive sign convention on this positive internal forces shear force and bending moment i am taking this as positive on the left hand side and on the right hand side my shear force will be changed to s plus ds over the length of dx and bending moment on this small portion of the beam will change to m plus dm now i will apply the equations of equilibrium on this small element of the beam so i will apply equation of equilibrium my first equation of equilibrium will be sum of all the vertical forces equal to 0 so i will take this s as positive so s minus s plus ds minus w dx w dx is the total udl acting on the small element so it gives me ds upon dx is equal to minus w so it says that the rate of change of shear force is equal to negative of the intensity of loading or it can also be said that the slope of shear force diagram which is given by ds upon dx this is it is the slope of shear force diagram it equal to negative of the intensity of the loading so if i integrate this equation let us say this equation is 1 so i can integrate this equation between two values of x let us say two values of x are x not and x so i'll integrate equation number 1 s not s ds is equal to minus x not x w dx so it gives me the further equation before that i would like to tell you that for a distance of x not the shear force is s not and for a distance at a distance of x the shear force is s so i will get s minus s not is equal to minus x not x w d where s not is the shear force at x not and s is the shear force at x so from this expression the shear force diagram can be constructed just by summing up the area under loading curve so this is area under loading curve so shear force diagram can be easily constructed by summing up the area under loading curve now i will apply another equation of equilibrium to this element and the other other equation of equilibrium is sum of all the moments which is equal to 0 so i will take moment about the left face of this element and i'll put all the moments equal to 0 so i'll take my moments on the left face 
and put that equal to 0 taking clockwise moments as negative minus m minus w dx into dx by 2 is the clockwise moment generated due to this loading so it will be generated in this direction if this is my point of consideration minus s plus ds shear force will also generate clockwise moment and I am taking clockwise moments as negative into dx plus now moments are m plus dn this is anti-clockwise and it will be plus this is equal to 0 so I will get now I will, I will uh, uh, invert the sign and I will get w dx square by 2 plus s dx plus ds dx minus dm equal to 0. Now this and this expression can be neglected because they are either multiplication of very small values or square of very small values they will be their ultimate value will be very small so this can be neglected so neglecting very neglecting very small values I will obtain s is equal to dm by this expression says that shear force at any point in the beam is equal to rate of change of bending moment or slope of bending moment diagram so shear force at any point is equal to slope of bending moment diagram or rate of change of bending moment again if i integrate this expression to between x naught and x i will get m naught m dm is equal to x naught x s dx this will be further equal to m minus m naught is equal to x naught x s dx so i can say that m is equal to m naught plus area under shear force diagram between x naught and x so m naught is the bending moment at x naught m is bending moment at x and the variation of bending moment between these two points x naught and x is the sum of the area of shear force diagram between these points similarly similarly this expression can be written as s is equal to s naught plus area under area under loading curve between x naught and x so this statement says that we can construct shear force diagram just by summing up the area under loading diagram now if i combine equation number one and equation number two this is my equation number one and this is my equation number two if i combine these two i will get w is equal to minus ds upon dx is equal to d square m upon dx square combining equation number 1 and equation number 2 and it shows that the bending moment m can be obtained by the bending moment n can be obtained by integrating the load function twice if load function is a continuous if load is a continuous function of x if load is a continuous function of x then bending moment can be obtained by integrating the load function twice and shear force can be integrated can be obtained by taking uh, first integration of the load function and negative of it thank you so much for watching